Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can change your tires at runtime. So let's go! So first of all this system is based on my original import tutorial, link is in the description. So we set everything up in Blender here, use the Unreal Engine vehicle base rigging plugin for Blender here. And what we want to do is we just delete the tires again. So we have the bones but we don't have the tires anymore. Then we just export the file, so export, FBX, a major and mesh we have to select, then we select the X forward, Z is up, and the rest can be the same, and then we export it. Back in the Unreal Engine we just import our car, be sure that you check the skeleton mesh and the import mesh are true, and the rest can be the same. On the material you should select the do not create material and search location all assets. When we click import, you get a few messages, you can ignore them. You get the skeleton mesh, a physics asset and the skeleton itself. So we go to the physics asset because we have to fix something. As you can see, we will delete the root here, options, show all bones. We can create the collision for this one. I choose the multiply convex hull and add bodies. That's fine. And then we select all tires here, select the sear and add bodies. So it will look like this one here. That's fine. Let's go back to our car here. The next thing that we need is an animation blueprint. Right click, animation, animation blueprint. We select the vehicle animation instance and our new skeleton that we imported. Hit OK. Let's call this car animation blueprint. Open this up. So this is pretty easy, we just get the wheel handler to vehicle, connect it here, get a mesh reference pose and connect this as well and that's it here. Compile and save this. The last part is we have to create the car itself, so right click, blueprint class and search for vehicle. We need the wheeled vehicle here, select this and let's call this car blueprint. Open this up. So now we will select the mesh here, put this under mesh, there it is. We select our animation blueprint that we created here and now we just have to set up the tires. And that's pretty easy, so let's go to the wheels here, I create them, just static meshes and I make a second one, a little bit dirty design here. So we select the first one, go to our car again, so we go to add component, static mesh, we have the first wheel. Let's duplicate this, of course, four times. The first one go to the parent socket, of course, the front left. The second one to the front right. The third one to the rear left. And the last one to the rear right. Of course, we have to fix the rotation. So this one will be 90, this one here as well. Let's go around. These are minus 90 in my case, like that. The last part is we go under vehicle movement and we have to fix the wheel setups as well. So we go here, this will be front left, this will be front right, rear left and rear right. We will disable, of course, the steering for the rear end here, compile and save this. Of course, we need the camera as well, so first of all, a spring arm, and with the spring arm, we add up a camera here, like this one. Pull it out a little bit, we go to the details, check the use pawn control rotation to true, and let's make this a little bit more larger here. We can put up the camera like this one here. Okay, let's open up the event graph. We can delete everything inside here, pull out the vehicle movement. Of course, we need the move forward here. We need the move right. This of course is the set throttle input like this one. And this is the steering input like that. As well we can say turn this one and we say add draw control input like this one. 
To change the tires, let's create a key binding, for example, let's put this on the end key here. We select all wheels, pull it out here, and we just have to set the static mesh. Of course, we need this four times, like this one. Then we connect everything here, connect the targets, and then we just select our second wheel here and put this to the new mesh here. Compile and save this. So the last step is we open up the details, go to the mesh itself, because we have to change something on the collision. Under collision presets, we select custom and we have to check the world dynamic to ignore. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. There's our car. We can drive around with it. And when we press N, we change the tires. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.